Hello and welcome. I am vlogging today and uh, I will admit there is a certain aspect of this that is more nerve wracking than streaming because I look forward to the editing part. Yeah, I would like to set this up so that there is as little editing as possible. Don't cover up the mic, Rain. Okay. And, and then just click upload and it's all done and yay. But uh, we'll see what actually happens. What I want to talk today about is the Farmer Project. Ideally, it's this project where I upgrade three aspects of my life. First, I want to make sure that I have a healthy place that I'm coming from, both physically and mentally. Um, I've always uh, struggled with depression, um, and for the past 10 years, I've struggled with PTSD, post-traumatic stress syndrome. Um, or disorder, depending on where you're from. And I, and I want to make sure that I can actually handle these projects. And if I, if I don't have a healthy uh, mentality, a healthy psychology, uh, it's not going to happen. Nothing else is happening. This shit. Just, mm -mm. And then physically, I used to be a dancer. Um, and also used to be much younger and also used to not have kids. And I retired from dancing. I had three kids, two of them simultaneously. And, and I've been doing coding for 11 years now. And that means a lot of sitting and not moving. And I would like to be fit again. I would like to be able to always be able to lift my children even as they grow, I would like to be able to run with them and I would like to be able to play with them. And that means strength, stamina, fitness. So I'm trying to make healthier life choices, healthier nutrition choices, and maintain the mental uh, resiliency that I've developed over the past few years. Two, I would like to take a proactive I am taking, I should say this, not I would like to, I am uh, proactively working on these second two projects, which is technical and leadership. With the technical one, I'm focusing on, uh, I've recently started with Packet, uh, I, but I've been within the OpenStack space, which is a cloud computing project for five years. And I never took the time to proactively uh, learn technologies that I didn't directly have to learn. And I, I think I think it's time to switch that from reactive learning to proactive learning. And so one of the things I'm doing, taking advantage of with starting this new uh, at this new company with this new uh, community is proactively learning Kubernetes um, a little bit more than just about OpenStack, but learning about OpenShift and, and different aspects of hosting. Definitely learning about containers, uh, bare metal, uh, and, then, and then even making my developer relations experience and knowledge better, and also my open source knowledge even better. So those are the four the four aspects I've called them are bare metal cloud computing, uh, developer relations, and open source. And I'm and proactively reading, creating apps, open sourcing them, uh, and then within the job that I have, increasing the Tinkerbell community and and making sure that we're getting the feedback from the community to make the product even better, et cetera, et cetera. It all ties into this project, which is. I call other people's computers. And by the way, this project, this health project, I'm calling uh, Wake Up Beauty, It's Time to Beast. So Wake Up Beauty, It's Time to Beast, other people's computers. And then this project, which is all about leadership, is called Speak Softly 
and carry a big stick, which is a quote from uh, Theodore Roosevelt, one of the presidents of the United States. It's a quote, it's a saying that he was famous for, uh, for saying <laughs> that he was quoted. And, and when I read it, I, I don't know how old I was, but when I read it, I was like, ooh, I like that. And part of it was because I was soft-spoken. And I was like, okay, I just got to get a stick. Um, I don't really have that stick, literally. Uh, but I, I definitely have learned to speak up when I need to. And still speak softly for the most part, if that makes sense. This is a lot of reading about and learning about time management, about uh, organization, productivity. It's It has to do with, uh, yeah, taking control and, as I said, being more proactive about things. Um, that's with the leadership. Actually, the book that I'm reading right now, Deep Work, I highly recommend it, um, Deep Work by Cal Newport. Uh, it's It's got some amazing stuff. One chapter is about giving up social media, so meh, we'll see how much that actually happens. But for the most part, that's where we are. The project is called The Farmer Project because I heard a joke and I loved it. And I was like, that's going to be the name of my project. The joke is, please forgive me. <laughs> that's not the joke. Please forgive me for the joke. Why did the farmer receive an award? Because they were outstanding in their field. And okay, yes, it's terrible. But the farmer project, because I, I aspire to be outstanding in my field. So if you want to visit, see progress, ooh, progress <laughs> on on what's going on, the latest things, the black and white progress is over on GitHub pages, but I hope to once a week update here with the latest progress and and how the farmer project is going and whether or not seeds have been planted and harvesting crops and and all the other things that go along with it. hello my partner interrupting my okay cool 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 this is fine so i hope you have a great day and and i will see you soon see you in a week bye